we bless your name today and we thank you because you are a wonderful shepherd. And our lives continue to get better as we submit to your word and as we submit to your way. Holy Spirit, have your way in all of our hearts and places. Do whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. Oh God, we came to worship you, to give you glory, to save, sanctify, with your spirit. Deliver us. Hallelujah. 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 And we'll give your name all of the praise and all of the honor. In Jesus' name, let this church shout out amen. And come on and put those hands together and give God praise one more time. One more time. Come on, you can do better than that. He's worthy. He's more worthy than that. He woke you up this morning. Every breath we take belongs to him. Hallelujah. One more time. One more time. Come on, you can do better than that. Yeah, he's worthy. He's more worthy than that. He woke you up this morning. Every breath we take belongs to him. Lord, on our side, who gave us the beautiful gift of Jesus Christ, who came to redeem us, to save us, 
to forgive us, to lift us, to move us, to shake us, to bring us, to deliver us, to heal us with all of his love and his power. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Can we give our Jesus a round of applause? Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. To the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. To the great I am. Hallelujah. So I'm going to read to you a couple of scriptures. Yeah, I got a couple of scriptures. Just pieces, just pieces. I'm going to start with Isaiah 9, 6 and 7. It says, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government, and peace, peace there will be no end upon the throne of David over his kingdom to the order it and establish it with judgment and justice. For that time forward, even forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Somebody say, God is going to make it happen. Oh, yes, he will. It's Isaiah seven fourteen. I just want to read this one. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall be called his name Emmanuel. God is with us. Turn to somebody and say, God is with us. He's going to make it happen. Hallelujah. My final scripture is from Matthew 1 and 23. Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God is with us. Look, God is so good, he had to say it two times. Remind you that I'm bringing to you everything that you need. I will supply everything that you need. God is with us, and he's already making it happen. Hallelujah. So we just come to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, because you do all things well. You keep looking out for us. You keep making ways out of no way. You keep opening doors. You keep healing and revealing. You are a mighty God. How great is our God. How excellent is our God. We can't praise you enough for all that you've done because you are great and mighty and keep doing great and mighty things over and over. Somebody say over and over, over and over. You repeat yourself all every time. What you do in the north, you do in the south. What you do in the south, you do in the east. What you do in the east, you do in the west. Can't nobody stop you because you are the God that reigns, that rules, that has everything in the palm of your hand. So we bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. You are a great creator. You are the great I am. You're the almighty God. You are the true and living God. And can't nobody beat you from being a great God because we know who you are. You are our foundation. You are our master. You are our king. You are a sovereign God, so we praise you like never before because we owe you our lives. We owe you our lives. We owe you our lives. We owe you a thank you. We owe you a hallelujah. It's just a little thing, but it's great in your side because you said all of men would praise me, would dwell in my praise. I will be in your midst in all that you need my hand has provided so we say great is your faithfulness great is your faithfulness oh god you've been faithful to us even if we couldn't Hallelujah. be to you god Glory you've been god. so great and mighty thank in you our jesus lives. So we will continue to bless your name Hallelujah. and show you how much we love you. Yes, Lord. We will abide in your word. Yes, Lord. We will do what you ask Thank us to you, do. Thank you, Jesus. We will say yes again, yes, God. Yes, Lord. You have brought us yes, through the Lord. end of this year. 
So we thank you for thank all you, that Jesus. you've done. It might be your birthday, but every day we owe you. We owe you. We owe you our praise. So let our obedience and our praise be sacrifices to you, God. So you always show up and show out for us. So we show up for you today. Lord, we thank you for those that couldn't be here. But those that are here have the right to give you the most praise because we love you, God. We'll serve you to the day that we die. We'll give up what we have to do so you can get all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, God. Hallelujah. You are the promised gift. You are the gift that keeps on giving. And we thank you. Thank you for restoring us. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for loving us. Somebody need to bless him right now because he's always with us. He's always with us. So we thank you, Lord, for never leaving, for never failing, for always supplying our needs according to your riches. That means there's no limitations. And we put no limitations on who you are in our lives and how you move and how you heal. So show up in this place, oh God. Show up in this house, God. As you show up in this house, you're going to our houses and you're showing up. And you're doing great things. You're turning things around. You're making things right. Because we're taking care of your business. You're going to take care of us. And God, we thank you. We'll forever thank you. We'll forever give you glory. We'll forever give you honor. Because you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve our hallelujahs. You deserve our thank you, Jesus. You deserve the smiles on our faces. You deserve to delight yourself within us. Because it's in you we live, move, and have our being. It's an honor to praise you. It's an honor to want to see your face. It's an honor to want to lift up our hands. It's an honor to want to bow down before you. It's an honor to know who you are. It's an honor to call you friend, father, mother, sister, brother, doctor, lawyer, healer, deliverer, provider. It's an honor to know who you are and what you can do and all that you've done is to get your glory back to you. So we give you glory right now. We give you honor right now. We give you praise right now. You deserve it, Father. You deserve it, God. If it had not been for you, we wouldn't even be here today. So with everything we have within us, with our last breath, we say glory. Name Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all that you've done. Yes. You keep doing great things. Thank you, God. So how dare us not give you what we owe you. Thank you, Jesus. Not just what you deserve, but what we owe you, Father. Thank you, God. You are amazing, God. Yes. You are a beautiful, God. You are a wonderful God. Yes, you are, God. Come on, open up your mouth Hallelujah. and give him glory. Help me set this atmosphere with oh, praise. Glory to Jesus. Worship the Lord our Hallelujah. God. For Hallelujah. he keeps doing Hallelujah. great things. He keeps doing wonderful yes, things. God. He keeps doing awesome, awesome things. things. Because we are alive yes, and well yes, and have the activities of our lives. Oh, we can say thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. For all that you've done. Yes, Lord. What an amazing Father. Thank you, Lord. Who can love us like our God? Thank you, God. Who can tend to our needs like the King? Thank you, Jesus. Who keeps making ways out of no way? Always making a way. Always making a way. Always making a way. God, we thank you because you're always, always making a way. Making a way. We don't understand, but when you do it, you do things always well. Always making a way. Always making so we owe you praise. 
Son. We praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we call you worthy. Yes, Jesus. We say you're worthy. You're worthy, worthy, to worthy, to worthy to be praised. Worthy to be honored. Worthy to be, worthy to be adored. Yes, God. You are great. Yes, you are. And we love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's nobody like you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for those that are on the line today. Hallelujah. Do a miracle in their lives. Thank you, Lord. Turn things around. Wipe dry, dry our eyes, God. Yes, God. Those that are weeping and going through that's missing loved ones, show them that you are the God who knows all. Thank you, Lord. Sees all. Helps all. Yes, Lord. Give them the freedom to be able to lift their hands in you. Even if they need to scream that I need you, God. Yes, God. Tell them it's okay. I got you in the Holy Spirit. Holding you and caressing you. Thank you, Lord, for being everything we need. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for Bishop and Mother Watts, God. Thank you, God. That you are keeping them still. You got a still on them. Thank you, Lord, that you'll do it still. Yes, God. God, we bless you. Hallelujah. Because they're coming out. They're coming out with their hands up and their hearts filled with praise. No doubt in their mind that you are God that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ask or think. Thank you for our bishop, our bishop Charles Locklear, yes, who God. is bringing forth the word today. Thank you, God. Who increase him, God. Yes. You are doing amazing things right in front of our eyes Thank with you, him. Lord. You are expanding him with knowledge and understanding that he can feed us your wisdom, that he can teach us your wisdom and your ways. God, we thank you that you're ordering his steps in your word as you do for First Lady. Yes, we thank you, God, thank for a woman that loves us, yes, that Lord. wants to see the best in us, thank you, Jesus. that wants to do what's best for us. Thank you, God. God, we thank you for great leadership. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That don't mind saying yes to yes, your will. Thank you, Jesus. Yes to your way. Yes every day. Whatever your spirit says. Yes, thank God. you, God, that we're walking obedience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So for everything that you've done, we owe you praise. We say thank you thank for you, all Lord. that you've done. Hallelujah. And for this, we will give you praise. Rest, and for this, name. we will give you glory. Come glory on, it's our day. Glory. Give God Hallelujah. the glory. glory. Give God Jesus. the praise. Hallelujah. Father Lord, thank you. Bless your God. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, we'll bless your, your name. Lord, we bless your name. We bless your name. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank He's doing great things. Great things. There is a reason why oh, we go through yeah. Because we're going to come out with our hands lifted oh, up. Oh, Jesus. And our mouth filled with praise. Oh, and God. a heart of thanksgiving. Yeah. We will bless you. We will praise you. We will praise we will you. Acknowledge you. Acknowledge we will you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all that you've done. All that you've done. All that you've done, God, is wonderful. Your name is great. Glory to God. Your name is power. Your name is holy. So we bless your name. We'll forever give you praise. Forever give you praise. We'll forever give you honor. Oh, yeah. We'll forever give you thanks. Uh, and continue to give you the glory. As because we, we love you. Because we love you. Yes, Lord. Because we love you, Jesus. Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Come on, lift your hands Jesus. to him. Hallelujah. We say, welcome into this place. We say, welcome into this place. As we 
open up our hearts to you, God. We want you to be welcomed into this broken vessel. Welcome, 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 Holy Spirit. Welcome, Jesus. Welcome, Father. Welcome, Father. We welcome you. Yes, we do. We say welcome into this broken vessel. Into this broken vessel.
we'll give you everything that we own. Praise belongs to you. We adore you. We We worship you, Jesus. You're wonderful, Jesus. somebody and said it was only Christ that did it. It was only Christ that brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light. And how many come to praise this Christ today? We come to give him praise. Come on, help me praise him one more time. Clap your hands in this place and give him praise. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give him, celebrate the king today. Celebrate the king. Let's 
about you, but I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I don't cross every I. I don't dot every T. But I'm grateful. You got your hands on me. I'm grateful that you love me enough to come see about me. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Is there anybody in here grateful? Hey, glory. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Yes, sir. I'm grateful. We give your name praise. We give you glory. We give you the honor. We give you the glory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You're worthy. Have your way and move by your spirit. And we'll give your name praise, honor, and glory. Clap your hands one more time to the king. Help me celebrate him in this place. Look at somebody and say that you don't know what he's done for me. Another songwriter said, he's gave me the victory. I can't tell it, let me tell it. You can't tell it like I can tell it. You don't know like I know what he's done for me. I can't tell it all. If I begin to list the name, I'd be here all day. But if it had not been for Jesus, I don't even know where I would be right now. So I come there this morning just to give him praise. I come this morning just to give him glory. I come this morning just to give him thanks. Hallelujah. Turn with me to Matthews, the second chapter. <laughs> Sound like I got some worshipers in the building on this Christmas Eve. I'll give you a minute, just go ahead and hold it, praise them. You died for me. 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 You died for me.
You done for me. You done for me. You done for me. Come on. You done for me. 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 Hey, you done for me. Hey, you done for me. 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 One through fifteen, Matthew second chapter, one through fifteen. Second chapter. Y'all excuse me because I have a terrible cold. So if y'all see it, just want to let you know in advance. Amen. Amen. Matthew second chapter one through fifteen. Hear the reading of God's word, Matthew 2nd, chapter 1 through 15. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, yeah. you guys are familiar with Judea, yeah. formerly known as the place called Judah, the place of praise. Jesus was born in Bethlehem at the place of praise. During this time, King Herod probably had ruled, and the word there in the King James Version is Maggie, or the correct pronunciation is Magi. Magi from, from the east came to Jerusalem. Magis were in the Greek considered to be the wise men. The Greek terminology for Magi or Magros was important men, men of power. These three men came looking for Jesus because they realized from the prophecy that was, and they followed the star, and they came asking, where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We had saw his star when it rose, and we came to worship him. Oh, glory. He came to worship him. We came to worship him. Third verse says, when the king Herod heard this, he was disturbed. And all of Jerusalem with him. And when he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them, where is the Messiah that was born? Where is it? 
And they replied, Bethlehem in Judea. They replied, for this was the prophet that was written. The sixth verse tells us the prophecy that was written by the prophet. He says, but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are no, by no means least among the rulers of Judah. Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Seventh verse says, then Herod called the, the Magi's the wise men secretly. Let me um, make a quick correction. The scripture never tells us that there were three wise men. It just said the wise men, the magis, magis. Many historians have assumed that it was three because of the three gifts that was brought to Jesus. And you will hear the, in the text along further what was the three gifts was that they brought to him. He sent to Bethlehem and he said, go search carefully before the child. And as soon as you find him, report to me so that I may go and worship him also. But after they heard the king, <clears throat> the scripture says that they went on their way and they saw the star yeah. and they had rose and went ahead of them. And when the star stopped, at the place where the child was born and he lay. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. Look at somebody and say, are you overjoyed that Jesus has arrived? Are you overjoyed that Jesus has arrived? 11 verses on coming into the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary and they bowed down and worshiped him. Then when they opened their treasures, they presented him with gifts. These are the gifts that they gave him. They first gave him gold. The second gift that they gave him was frankincense. And the third gift that they gave him was mirth. You will see what all of these particular gifts symbolize later on as I begin in the scripture, amen? amen. Having been warned in his dream, matter of fact, they were warned in a dream not to go back to Herod. So they turned to their country another route. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto Joseph. Get up and take the child, his mother, and escape to, Jeru to Egypt. So there until, stay there, until I hear from you. Stay there until I tell you. Yeah. For Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. This is the reason why he's searching because he's jealous. He don't want another king to rise up in his reign. So he decided that he's going to search for this Jesus. And he is going to kill him. Look at somebody and tell them what God wants alive. No one can kill. You can't bury God's anointed. You can't kill God's anointed. You can try whatever you want. But it will not work. 14th verse says, so he got up and he took the child, his mother, during the night, and he left for Egypt. 15 verse, final verse, and it says, where they stayed until the death of Herod. And so was it fulfilled what the Lord has said through the prophet. Out of Egypt, I will call my son. May God have a blessing to the hearers of his word today, and may his word be sanctified deep down in our hearts. Many of you came from far and near. Just for a few moments, I would like to talk to you from this subject, what you come for. You came far and near. What you come for? Was your intentions real? Did you come seeking for something? 
look at somebody and ask them what you come for, what you come for. Christmas, people of God, Christmas is a, a time of celebration. It's a time for us to celebrate because God has done something miraculous in the earth. In the earth. During this time of season, we sing many songs as a reminder of what Christmas is supposed to be. Christmas is supposed to be a happy and joyous occasion. Yeah. Songs like, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Songs like, have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at my nose. You try, Carol. That's how I go. Everybody knows. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Walking in the winter wonderland. We communicate these particular songs because they are supposed to be a joyous occasion that we just has entered into. Not only a joyous occasion, what is supposed to be a trouble-free season for our lives. Wow. But let us be honest, people of God. Be honest. Mm -hmm. Have you stepped into a trouble-free season in this season? Right. Let us be honest, people of God. Be honest. Many of you are experiencing certain things in our lives. Probably not some personal things, but what the personal things is, they constantly continue in the power up in our lives. Probably not a, a special uh, trouble-free season. Keeping our eyes for others, it feel like crisis after crisis has run over our lives. With such avalanche, problems is not a joyful, holly jolly Christmas as some may feel it might be. But when stuff is hitting you so hard in your life, where do you turn? Who can you call on? Who can you look to? When times are rough in our lives, when times are stacking up, problems after problems stacking up in our lives, I only know one that we can turn to. His name is Jesus. If you agree with that, somebody say amen. amen. So some of us are busy. Some of us are busy so hard working. We don't have no time for roasting on another open fire. This smacked me right in the right in the face smack me because I'm a workaholic. Mm. I'm like the Jamaicans. I, I work 15 jobs, man. I don't play. I work 15 jobs, man. I, I believe in working, amen? I'm not one of them guys that sit there. Uh, uh, I believe in working because God has said he would give us power to get wealth that he might establish his covenant with us. Yeah. So as long as I got breath in my body well, and I'm able to get up and work, well, I'm going to work, whether it's with the kingdom or with my personal life. I don't have time. The scripture says work while it's day. When night come, no man can work. Maybe there is some other wrong reasons that's going on. But some of the reasons is not joy. It's not you enjoying the reason. But the only doesn't feel like Christmas. You get them people that it just don't feel like Christmas at all. Matter of fact, for the last couple of years, it didn't even feel like Christmas. Yeah. Last year, we didn't even get no snow. Christmas is not providing this emotional lift for some that you are expected to have. 
In fact, it's a very depressing time of the year for some. The world does not seem like a winter wonderland. It just looks like winter in another type of situation. <laughs> Because winter, it doesn't even, it's cold, but it doesn't even look like winter in New York because most of the time winter got snow. We haven't even had snow yet this year. Normally we would see some flurries and stuff, but we haven't, we get so hyped, people of God, we get so hyped about the expectations about what Christmas is supposed to be. And we wind up being disappointed. Disappointment has wrecked habit during the times of Christmas and we have all kinds of experience with disappointments because we it did not deliver what you thought it would deliver the problem is people of God is not Christmas at all the problem is is our expectations we're looking for the wrong things Turn to somebody and say, I don't know who you're looking for. And what you're looking for. But I want to present to you someone that can turn your midnight into day. His name is Jesus. The, 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 the magis in this passage of scripture, which is the wise men shows us how to increase our level of joy at Christmas, he tells us, by looking for the right thing. The question is asked, what are you looking for? What are you expecting to get for this season? They're looking for the right thing. The scripture tells us that they come to the place called Jerusalem. And they say, where is he who has been born, king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east, and we come to worship him. They were looking for Jesus. You need to understand, people of God that Christmas should be an opportunity to worship Jesus. Forget about all of the other stuff that you are expecting to look for. Forget about all the gifts that are supposed to be coming. Huh? But you need to make it your opportunity is that I come to worship Jesus. This is what we need to be looking for, our expectations at Christmas. An experience uh, to worship. A fresh script of who was born king of the Jews. Just give me a chance to worship. I will bow my hands in worship. Just give me an opportunity to worship the king. I will lift my hands with total admiration and praise. After all but what Jesus has done for me, just give me an opportunity to worship. After all what he's done, give me an opportunity to bow in his presence. After all of what he's done for my life, just give me an opportunity to worship him. Let me get a glimpse of his glory. I was wondering in, in this place, is there any worshipers in here that'll take just a few moments just to lift your hands and worship the king? Oh, glory. Just a few moments just to worship him. Just a few moments to tell him how awesome he is. Just a few moments to tell them that you're so grateful and you're so thankful for what the Lord has done. I come to tell you, people of God, it should be our goal this Christmas to worship the King. Ah, 
I doubt it very seriously. If you don't do it, you will be satisfied. Because these wise men came and they knew who they were working for. And my question is for you today, who are you looking for? Your level of joy at Christmas shall be directly towards the way you look and where you looking for the king. We learn from this passage of scripture that the magis, which is the, the wise men, they were looking in the wrong places. Sometimes our thinking can cause us to look in the wrong places. But I come to tell somebody that there is a way that seems right unto man, but the end leads to destruction or death. We learn from the wise men that they were looking for Jesus in the wrong places. They started looking in the wrong places. They ended up at the place of Jerusalem where Herod was there. They human reasoning caused them to look there. But the star indicated that the birth of the king was at the place of Bethlehem. The wise men, people of God, went to the king and they bowed. And they should have had great sense to follow the star, which they know. They made this mistake. But I'm so glad that God allowed mistakes in our lives he don't hold the mistakes against us but what you're gonna do after the mistake are you going to get it together and tell him for God I live and for God I die just give me just a little more value because I'm losing my voice here we got to learn when Herod heard of the birth of the new king he was jealous people of God because he sought to destroy this king we are tempted people of God to look for joy in the wrong places we are tempted people of God because because our human instinct, we find ourselves in some bad situations because of our human instinct kick in. We look for joy in the wrong places. We are got gathered by the gifts of but we gathered by what can satisfy us. We imagine that the joy with our family might be great, but it wind up being such a disappointment. We're not able to afford many gifts, but we wind up being such a disappointment. Family missing, missing from our celebration. It winds up being a great disappointment. What are you looking for? At the time of Christmas, things are not good. It becomes a disillusionment. The Maggies got on the right track. They followed the star. They left the place. I need your brother. I'm losing my voice. Put me in this a little bit more. They left the place of Jerusalem. Thank you. Right there. Stay right there. They left the place of Jerusalem. So it was not a total loss. While they were on their way, they were discovered what the Bible says. They referred back what the prophet said. The prophet describes, they ask him what it is that is said in the Bible. The scribes say, according to the prophet Micah, the Messiah will be born in Bethlehem. With this new information, the wise men got up and followed the star. But what was so good about it, they did not allow the other situation to get to them. They did not allow where they went to stop them from going to be about their mission. Your level of joy, people of God, at Christmas should be directly to what you give. The Maggies, though, came to Jesus with a house he was buried. They gave gifts. 
they gave this gift to the whole entire and the gifts were very appropriate what they give the first one gave the gift of gold the gift of gold acknowledged that jesus was king he can acknowledge that he was a king he was the king of kings he was the king of the jews the next one they gave they gave him frankincense thank you jesus the frankincense was the incense that the priests used when they were going before god as a sweet smelling savor so the anchor frankincense recognized that jesus was a priest he will be the one that bring us towards our God. He'll be the one that restores the relationships with our God. The next one, they added him. They gave him a gift of mirth. The mirth represents the gift of the gift of the dead. It's a fragrance. It's an ointment that they put on the dead bodies to preserve the dead bodies. He tell us that Jesus would be born, he will live, and then he would die for the people. And we will get up on the third day with all power given unto him in heaven and earth. The same Jesus right now sits on the right hand of the throne of God making intercession for you and I and because he lives you can face tomorrow because he lives all fear is gone you need to clap your hands and celebrate the king the king of glory who is this king of glory who is he who you come looking for the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. He is this king of glory. We ought to be people of God. Given the appropriate gifts. The appropriate. What is the appropriate? Uh -huh. one. The first one to be loved. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. Yes. Whosoever believe in him yes. shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. God sent out his son into the world to condemn the world, yes. but that the world through him right. might be saved. Listen what it said. He loved us so much. So he gave. Much. Yes. What are you giving? It should be, it should not be about what you can receive. Jesus is the real reason for the season. Are we giving gifts of kindness to our friends, to our family members? Kindness goes a long way. Everything that God does us for us. It comes from a place of love and kindness. And we're supposed to be conformed into the image of his dear son. So everything we do, we do in life should come from a place of love and kindness. The third gift that we should be given is forgiveness. Mm -hmm. It's hard, people of God, to forgive when people basically spit in your face. Jesus was the perfect example. Don't lay it. Forgive them. Father, forgive. 
for they know not what they do. They don't even know what they're doing. Because if they really knew who I was, they wouldn't do it. But the but the the prince of this air has blinded their eyes. Paul picked it up. If the princes knew what they was doing, they wouldn't have never crucified the Lord of glory. So he kept it a secret. Because I have a purpose and plan in mind that I need to fulfill. Forgiveness, people of God, is one of the hardest pills for everyone to swallow. We also should give the gift of help for those that are hurting. Their, their hurt should be your hurt. You are your brother's keeper. And if, if it's in your power, if it's in your power to help somebody and you see your brother's hurting and you don't do nothing about it, you're guilty. Now, I'm getting ready to go back. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. I, I'm getting ready to go back to what I talked about. We talk about it every first Sunday. Y'all think it's just sin when he's talking about He's talking about the body of Christ. If you have a brother that's in need and you can help them and you don't do nothing about it, you're guilty of the body. Why he think he said, let a man examine himself. So let him eat of this bread and drink of this cup. It's not just sin because Jesus was the sacrifice for sin. We don't have to go continue on a continued basis like the priest used to do in the Old Testament to offer up a wave sacrifice or, or whatever, atonement for the people of God. Right. All you have to do is one minute you could be out of the ark of safety and the next minute you could be back in the ark of safety. Ask them to forgive you yeah. because he's a, he is an advocator, the mediator between God and man. Mm -hmm. wow. But we are guilty people of God when we don't treat our brothers and sisters right. I didn't even mean to go here. I didn't even mean to get here. When you stand before this thing and you have an art before your brother and sister and you refuse to get it right, you're guilty. You're guilty of the death of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Look at somebody and tell them, neighbor, some of us got blood on our hands. What kind of gifts are you coming? Who did you come looking for? The appropriate one that you come looking for should give you an opportunity to worship. When you find who exactly you're looking for, you should worship. Praise him with all of your being. Thank him for what he has done in your life. This is what Christmas is all about. Yes, it is giving the appropriate gifts to the one that created the opportunity for you to have a right standing with God. Who did you looking for? Look at somebody, ask them, ask them. And I mean, I want you to ask them with conviction in your heart. Who did you come today looking for? <laughs> Why not consider yourself people of God? 
when you find out who you're looking for, why not consider giving him you? I need to say that one more time. When you find who you're looking for, why don't you consider giving the best gift that you can give him is you. Not just part of you. All of you. Give him your life today. I'm done. It's a great time to celebrate. It's a great time to be joyous, people of God. It's a great time to have Jesus in your life. He can turn your darkness into day. All of your things that you're dealing with. He is our panacea. He's the solution to every problem that you might have. Call on him in a time of trouble and he will show up and show us great and mighty things. That you know not of. God bless you today. Merry Christmas and may heaven smile upon you. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, did you find who you're looking for? If you're here today on this great Christmas Eve, the best thing you can do is give him your life. If you're here today and don't know Jesus and the pardon of your sins, now you can give him the opportunity that make him Lord of Lord and King of Kings of your life. You're here today and don't know Jesus. You're here today and don't have a church home that you want to make found in your church home. You also that are here that was saved one time and you want to rededicate your life, you can come also. While we're waiting for them to come, you that are on this live and you don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sins, we want to make this opportunity available for you. We don't want you to leave this line without having the opportunity to give Jesus your life. It's simple, it's easy. Right where you stand, right where you sit. Say, dear God, I am a sinner and I need to be saved. Ask that you forgive me now. Your word declares, if I confess with my mouth, Lord Jesus, and believe in my heart that God has raised him from the dead, then I will be saved. Lord Jesus, come into my life and save me now. Wash me, cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Write my name in the Lamb Book of Life. And Lord Jesus, fill me with your precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And I'll praise you for the rest of my life. If you meant that prayer for this first time and said that prayer for the first time, I'm here to tell you that you're saved and the angels of heaven is rejoicing that you gave your life over to him. Find your church home that's preaching and teaching the word of God so you can continue to grow him. May God bless you today. If I don't get a chance to speak to you anymore, Merry Christmas and have a happy new year. Jesus say, He will pick you up and turn you around. Hallelujah. That's one of my favorite songs back in the days. To the utmost. Jesus saved.
everyone clap your hands one more time for that word. What you came here for? Thank God. We came to be a blessing today with their tithes and offerings in the spirit of worship. With your cell phones, with your wallets, with whatever you have. Even with the empty hand, God will fulfill it. Lift it up to him. Say, Father, I pray over this congregation at FCC Ministries. We thank you for blessing us to bring our tithes, offerings, and gifts of love into the storehouse, that it may be meat in my house. And prove me now, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you blessings that you won't have room enough to receive. So, Father, we call forth these blessings into manifestation, and we bind those things that would hinder us from obeying the voice of God. We loose the angels of the Lord to bring in the harvest in this congregation. For an uncommon seed always creates an uncommon harvest. So when we let go what's in our hands, God will let go what's in his hands. So, Father, we thank you for all these blessings in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Thank God. Amen. Hold your offerings for a mother watch. We'll come back and do another offering for her. Amen. Amen. This is only our tithes and offering that we're taking up right now. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Merry Christmas Eve! Hallelujah! That means we're only two weeks out <laughs> to the end of 2023. Thank you, Jesus! Hallelujah, we made it. Thank you. <laughs> So glad you're here today. We pray you have an awesome day in the Lord with your family and your friends. Your loved ones are in this holiday season. Have a merry, merry very merry Christmas. We'll be back next week to, to, be, to send you off before the new year comes in. Amen. We thank you for not eating and drinking and chewing gum in the sanctuary. Thank you for your tithe, your offering, your seeds of love, your Sunday school offering, your general benevolent, your partnership seeds, your special offerings. Thank you for, for sending them by mail, cash app, in person, online, through Square. 
I think I set us up for Venmo or something. I'm 2024. We gonna be accessible in Jesus' name by multiple multiple streams. So however you wanna give, we thank you for your giving, and we pray that God gives you 30, 60, 100 fold return on your giving. Um, please make sure though you put your name, your first, your last name on your offering. Tell us where you want us to sign it. Um, and also give your offering a seed, okay? Let them let God know what you desire of Him as you give your offering and your tithes. Amen. Amen. If you have not joined our mass text number, please do so 877-797-1174. Text the word fountain. Somebody text the word foundation. It didn't come through. You gotta text the word fountain in the text message, and then you'll be automatically added to our uh, mass text number. Also, if you just want to get out, just text the word stop and you'll stop receiving the messages as well. Um, but please keep it on because we will be sending alerts, especially as we go through these next couple of weeks and the yeah. winter seasons and things like that. We need to let you know what's going on. Amen. Noonday prayer, Bible study. We on vacation. It's holiday. Well, we will not be having noonday prayer and Bible study this week in Jesus' name. Do so in your own home and in with your family, your friends and loved ones. But we do have prayer on Friday, right? Friday at 7 p.m., uh, 7 to 7.30 on the prayer line, which is our teleconference line. Amen. Thank you all who came out for Youth Sunday last Sunday, the day of Jubilee. Was it not a Jubilee time? We had such a great time. We had so much fun. We didn't have fun like that in such a long time. It was real good. So if you missed it, don't miss out next time. Amen. And we thank God for all that supported and all that gave and made it a wonderful time. Uh, give us give our kids, our young people a hand. They did such a great job planning it. They planned it. They worked on it. They came up with the skit and everything like that. And we thank God for Pastor Joe, who is the orchestrator, the producer, the writer, the director. <laughs> and then we thank God for her and all that God has blessed her to be. And the check is over there. It's not signed, though, but it's over there. <laughs> we had a good time. Sign her check so she could cash it in Jesus' name. <laughs> She need the, we need the tides, y'all need to sign that check. We need the tides, y'all. Uh, happy birthday to our mother, Vina Watts. Just after announcements, we're gonna go into our little celebration uh, for our very our forever first lady, Mother Vina Watts. Her birthday is going to be on the 28th of December, but we're gonna celebrate her today. She's 82 years old on that day. We thank God for her. We thank God for her life. We thank God for all she has sown into us. So if you have a couple of words of inspiration and encouragement, please bring it uh, when we turn it over to that part of the service. And if you have any special gifts or donations you want to give to her, you can um, cash app to Bishop Watts's cash app, and I'll put that on the screen. But um, you have anything tangible, you can give it to Pastor Joe, and she'll take it to Mother Watts and, and bless her for us in Jesus' name. Amen. So today is Christmas Eve. Thank you all for whoever wore your colors or your, your holiday sweaters, your ugly sweaters. You look fabulous. I think we should take a picture. It's cute. And if you didn't, you're still cute anyway. Jump in the picture because we just love you and we want to celebrate you. And um, next Sunday, it is New Year's Eve. We are having 9 a.m. prayer, 9.30 a.m. Bible study, 10.45 morning service, and then go bless God, bringing in the new year. Amen safely and soundly in Jesus name. Amen. Uh, so have an awesome time in the Lord bringing in the new year. Amen. Give him a praise because I don't know about your 2023. Mine was a little rough. I'm thank God for going in 2024. Don't know what to expect, but I'm expecting awesome things in Jesus name. Uh, so we're going to start off this new year, 2024, with a bang. Amen. You know, every year we do our corporate prayer and fasting, 21 days, starting from the 7th, which is the first Sunday in January, to the 27th, which is, the sat is a Saturday. It's the same 21 days <laughs> in fasting and prayer. But what we add into that is a leader's in-house prayer time. 
in the building on Saturdays from January 6th through February 3rd for one hour from 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. Leaders, it is a sacrifice. We know, but we believe God. We believe God. And if you want something extraordinary, you got to do something extraordinary. Amen. So be in the building. If you consider yourself a leader, if you've been called a leader, be in the building every Saturday, January 6th, 13th, 27th, and February 3rd from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And let's be in the face of God together. Amen? Amen. Amen. And on January the 12th, one night revival is back hallelujah we have none other than our sister elder uh, olivia cunningham who's gonna bring the word we know she a powerhouse packed with fire we believe god for an awesome service of course we're going to be in fasting and prayer anyway so that thursday don't forget don't forget that we are going to be in corporate fasting and prayer on the 11th but friday night uh, 7 45 p.m we'll be having our healing and deliverance service in january and we believe god for awesome time in the lord happy birthday to those who are celebrating birthdays well we know thank you jesus it has finally arrived Pastor Joanne Locklear, birthday, hallelujah, is going to be on Tuesday, December the 26th. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> We've been celebrating all year. <laughs> She'll be reminding us in January. <laughs> But please make sure y'all give her a special. You guys were so awesome on the day that we celebrated her that she got so many texts and calls. Happy birthday that she was like, please tell people where my actual day is. You squealed? It says surprise. Like, but no, we did good. 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 She so, but on this Tuesday, December the 26th, please give our first lady pastor joanne locklear a happy birthday shout out please <laughs> on her special day amen and of course we're going to honor our late sister barbara backman whose birthday was on december 27th and our mother again our mother vina watts on december 28th so happy birthday on your special day god bless you to have many more happy healthy and prosperous ones to come we want to continue to hold up our Bishop and Mother Watts, Irvin Bowen Sr., Darlene Pamela Patterson, Rachel Smith, Kevin Roberson. Georgia Carter's in the building! Woo! And we continue, and Betty Barnum's in the building! Yes! God is doing it! He is doing it! Amen! We're going to continue to hold up Alexis Parker Roberson and Stephanie Steplight Johnson. Um, of course, we want to just hold up the Roberson Kettles family. That's um, br brother Andrew's aunt did pass away. So let's please hold up their family. God is still good. And we're going to continue to hold up the Walker Morris and um, Matamora family in the loss of our sister Carol Ann Walker. Um, and her services were last week as well. And we just want to continue to pray for everybody who is bereaving. It's a, it's a hard time anytime, but, you know, it's challenging during this season. Amen. Yeah, I had my um, friend Jerome to that list. He, Jerome. To the sick? Yeah, he's not there. Okay, yes. We add, will uh, continue in praying for him. Amen. Yes, yes. We will continue to pray for him. Jerome, yes. At this time, do we have any first-time visitors? If you're here, please stand so we can welcome you. God bless you. Thank you so much for finding out right. You sister Carter, sister, right? Y'all look just a her aunt. Her, oh, your niece. Okay. Thank you so much for coming in the family. We thank y'all so much for coming and fellowshipping with us. God bless you. Whenever the doors of the house are open, you're more than welcome to come and fellowship with us. And here at the Fountain Christian Center, the love of God is evident. The word of God is taught. The power of God is directed. The spirit of God is manifested in Jesus is Lord. Have an awesome day to the Lord. Merry Christmas. Now to the hands of our bishop. Praise the Lord, everyone. Does everyone that have bread, praise the Lord. The Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. We're so grateful that we have another opportunity to give God praise and glory for the things he's done. Look at somebody said, neighbors, a celebration. 
Well, we give God praise. We're here to celebrate this mighty woman of God. Amen. Uh, two, tw 2023 makes 30 years that my family has been here at Fountain. Mother Watts has been a mother to us. Amen. She has been a friend. She was somebody that we can always go to. We get wisdom and godly information from. We're so grateful to have the opportunity to be able to celebrate her. We want to give her flowers while she can smell them. We celebrate her and her husband. As long as we live, as long as we live, as long as we have the opportunity, we will celebrate them. They have always been parents and friends in our lives. We have celebrated. I miss, I miss the fellowship that we used to have with our bishop and mother every every year we would sit and eat and enjoy one another and i just wanted them to tell <clears throat> yeah excuse me i'm um very clogged up but i'm we just wanted them to know that we love them from the bottom of our heart and as long as they live we will celebrate them yes. amen just please, one more time, just stand on your feet and just help me celebrate this mighty woman of God. Amen. We want to start it off. Um, matter of fact, can we get one, can we get one, just one of her songs that she was singing? What was one of her songs that she was singing? Trish, um, y'all anybody know one of her songs? God has a way. Can we do that? Yesterday. Down on my feet. He knows the road. He will carry a load. God has a way. God has a way. That's mighty sweet. That's mighty sweet. God has a way. God has a way. That's mighty sweet. That's mighty sweet. You can lay your burden. You can lay your burden. Down at his feet. Down at his feet. He knows the road. He knows the road. He will carry your load. He will carry your load. God has a way. God You've been such an awesome mother to us all throughout our all my years being here at FCC and until you stopped coming to when the pandemic happened. That was like 30 years of love, of encouragement, of wisdom, of faith, of of action, of working. That woman would come here, she would go to work, and then she would come to church and be with us all day at church, go home, and then go to work. And she served with a smile, without complaint, for years. I remember when she was a usher. I remember when she was doing Wednesday night, I mean Wednesday Bible study, 
faith noonday prayer right it was noonday prayer just an awesome woman and but beyond that like she would buy groceries i don't know what she did it for you she did it for me <laughs> she would get the kids snacks she would give you that holy handshake yeah she likes snacks <laughs> she had the good snacks too but i just love you mother I appreciate you. I honor you. I thank you for all that you have poured into my life as a, a young girl and as a woman, as a mother. Um, and I just pray that you have a beautiful day and many more. And I love you so much. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Come on, Trish, right quick. I'm, I'm going to be right here. I'm going to look at her because <laughs> it's, been, it's been a while since I've seen your face. Even though I, I know, it, you know, we're separated right now, but you know I love you. I love you so much. I thank you for being a mother to me, a true mother, praying mother, a fasting mother on my behalf. You did things that just like my mother would do. And I appreciate you because now that she's gone, you can have those memories. I have those memories. I have the letter that you wrote me. I have thoughts of you saving my life one day. You rescuing me from making a terrible mistake. I will always be grateful and thankful to you for seeing the best in me. I will always be grateful and thankful to you for loving me the way you do. And that's that's between us. And thank you for loving my nieces. My niece who told you that you was gonna be her godmother and you became it without a godfather. But <laughs> I thank you for loving us unconditionally. I love you for the rest of my life. And then while you're living, just know that I'm still your number one daughter. <laughs> no, she didn't. Yes, I am. Love you. Happy birthday. Cap. <laughs> Amen. Come on, receive uh, uh, Pastor Champelle at this time. Sister Rochelle, you'll be next. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. <laughs> you know, when I got up this morning, I said, Lord, what am I going to tell Mother? I know that she is my forever mother. I could go to her and tell her personal things that I've never heard it repeated in the church. She was a woman of integrity. She kept a secret. You didn't have to worry about her spreading your business. And she was a praying woman. If nothing else she has taught me, she's taught me to pray without ceasing. And if God doesn't answer right away, it doesn't mean no. It just means he's working on my character. And I'm not in the place to receive it just yet. But he's working. She taught me to be persistent. And not just throw up my hands when things get rough and tough, but to press. That woman has taught me, her and Bishop, how to press in spite of your adversities in spite of your pain, your suffering, because we make up excuses why not to press. But I want to hear God say, well done. And my prayer is always that God bless her to the point that she will be able to walk in this building one day that we would see her again here in the house of the Lord. And I believe that day will come. Mother, I wish you a happy birthday. May God continue to bless you and may heaven smile upon you. Love you. Amen. Happy birthday, Mama. Happy birthday to you. I just like to say many, many Sundays many 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 wednesdays many 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 shut-ins 
We have spent a lot of time together. And I appreciate every single moment of it. You have encouraged me. You have prayed for me. You have given me that strength. And this is the weirdest thing. Because this is what mother always used to say. What is you coming for? She used to always ask me that. Wow. What is you coming for? Because if you come in for man praises, you has just missed God. So it's always, what are you coming from? When I first started, that was the first thing she wanted to know. What is you coming for? So today, I applaud the time. And yes, I believe God. I have that faith that you're going to walk back up in here and we're going to see you again. But until then, happy birthday to you. I want to sing, get a little contract right here. So happy birthday, mother. Happy birthday, Mother Wise. This is Sister Rochelle. Um, you've always been an inspiration to me, but prior to coming to the church, I remember you, my grandmother, and uh, Minister McCray being over in um, Burger King, talking, laughing, joking, having a good time. And many times when you call my grandmother at her house, I wasn't saved, I wasn't in church. You know how old people do, my grandmother meaning, oh, get out of here, somebody from church, don't say a word. And you guys will have your conversations while she was sipping her coffee. And then one day when I finally made the decision to, um, give my life to Christ, and I came to the church, you were, so, you were so welcoming, me and my three children. And ever since that day, when you see me, you always say, um, come over here. How you doing? How my children doing? And you always encouraged me. And one thing I really liked about you, even like you can just read through people, and if I had a difficult time on a job, you will always give me good words and, and tell me about times when you were a supervisor at the post office and linking, linking, linking it to my, what I needed. When they say, oh, I'll be a mother to the motherless, you were definitely a mother to me because I lost my grandmother and my mother. You were very supportive to my children. And what blew me away when you came to my daughter, Monique's baby shower, I was like, oh my God, the queen is in the house. To me, you will always be a queen, a mother, and you're somebody special. And I miss you so much. Um, about two weeks ago, my daughter Linnell showed me a picture of Facebook with you and your husband, and your daughter wrote a caption, they still in love after all these years. I miss you and Bishop Watts. And once again, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mother Watts. Well, my BFF didn't want to say nothing, but me and her both say happy birthday to you. And she'll see you Monday because they're coming to get her. But I love you, Mother, and I will never, ever, ever forget you. God bless you. You have a blessed day. Amen. Before we our last person is there anyone else we don't want to um not give you a few moments before we call our last person we want to want to like give you the opportunity to uh not have words she will be our last person please please you left me to do this so i will ask anyone else will have any words before we call our last person well, Mother Watts, I love you. It was such a pleasure serving you as your adjutant for many, many, many years. And not only that, I thank you for allowing me to stay summers with you. And my parents left me with Bishop and Mother Watts while they went on vacation. But the love and the joy and um, the word of God that you taught me during that time frame was something um, I will always cherish and remember. So I love you and I appreciate you so much, Mother Watts, you and Bishop Watts. Thank you. Sister Nelson? No, Sister Jardine. Oh, Sister Jardine, you liked. Okay. So
So anyone okay. else before she comes? Anyone else? Okay, Sister Nelson, come on. We just didn't want to not, um, we didn't want to overlook nobody. She'll be our last person. Praise the Lord. I stand here to honor someone who has meant the world to me down through the years. That's Mother Bina Watts. When I came in this house, she was the first face I saw on the door, but she was an usher. And shortly after I've been here, she ministered to me the first day I came. And every time I looked like something was going on, it was like she knew. And she came and she pulled me to the side and talked to me. She says, I know what you're going through. I've been through that, but just hang in there, hang in there. And I'll give God praise for the times that we talk. She called me at home. Sometime I was really going through. But after she ministered to me, and she's always there for me, I could come to her with anything. Something you think is, I shouldn't say, but I say it, you know, I say it anyway. But I thank you for the love you've shown me down through the years. I thank God for how he used you as our first lady for many, 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 many years. Always there for the people of God. And I give God praise for you. I take nothing for granted. I love you, woman of God, with the love of the Lord. And I like the way the songwriter say, we walk in the light, beautiful light. Come with a dew drops of mercy shine bright. Shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world. And you've been that light because Jesus shined through you as the light of the world. I give God praise for you. And I wish you many more birthdays to come. God be the glory. Amen. Amen. We're going to take up our offering for her at this time. Amen. I remember that song, Sister Nelson. Walk in the light, beautiful light. Come where the dewdrops of mercy shine bright. Shine all around us by day and by night. Us the light of the world. I'm standing. I'm standing for the offering for Mother's Watts' birthday, and I'm starting the offering off with twenty-five dollars. and smile upon you. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of those that are here. We wish you God speed and we thank you for being here today worshiping with us. All hearts and minds is clear. Father, we thank you for what has been said and done. You are amazing. And there's no God like you. Go with your people. Bless them on this day. And the day will come. And we'll give your name, praise, honor, and glory. Encourage the hearts of many that are going through and struggling at this time. We'll give your name, praise, honor, and glory. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his confidence upon you and give you peace. The peace of God that passes all understanding. 
that God that will have in mind through Christ Jesus when we go out, when we come in, when we lie down, when we rise up from this time forth, even forevermore. Let all God's people say amen. Amen, amen. At the request of Bishop and Pastor Joe, many of you asked about Christmas gifts for Bishop. You can give it to him separately. We didn't want to tax the, they didn't want to tax the church, but they wanted to take today to honor Mother Watts. So if you want to bless Bishop and Pastor Joe, you could do that 